Hey, thanks for joining me for example 7.2.6, part of section 7.2 on spans. This example gives us vectors v1, v2, and v3, and asks us to describe the span of these vectors geometrically by giving an equation for the geometric object that represents the span. We know spans are defined algebraically using linear combinations, but in previous videos we have seen that geometrically the span of three vectors in three-dimensional space can either be the point of the origin, the zero vector, a line through the origin, a plane through the origin, or all of R3. So to determine which of these geometric objects we have in, as the span, we need to look at the geometric relationship between these vectors. So the first thing that we can notice is that none of the vectors, actually it would have to be all of them, but none of them as it is are zero. And that immediately means that the point of the origin is not the span that we have. So we need to look and see if we have a line, a plane, or all of R3. So you might look at those vectors and say, well, they're obviously not parallel, and so we don't have a line, but let's go and prove that algebraically. And we're going to use the cross product because we're going to need it in the next step anyway. So if we look at V2 crossed with V3, then we are going to have minus 1, 1, minus 1 crossed with v3, which is 5 minus 1, 9. If we do this cross product like we were shown back in the vectors unit, we will see that we have 9 minus 1 is 8, minus 5 plus 9 is 4, and 1 minus 5 is minus 4. So I'm going to simplify that because I know I'm going to want to use that vector in reduced form a little bit later, so that's 4 times 2 minus 1, uh, 2, 1 minus 1, but in particular that is not the zero vector, and therefore vectors v2 and v3 at least are non-parallel. So if the, those are non-parallel, if we have a pair of non-parallel generators, we know we do not have a line. So let's go and examine whether the vectors are coplanar or not to make the decision as to whether we have a plane or all of R3 as the span of these vectors. So we're going to look at V1 dotted with V2 crossed with V3. So V1 is 2 minus 1, 3 dotted with the result that we have here for 8, 4, minus 4, which is going to give us 16. minus 4 minus 12, which is 0. And therefore the vectors are non-coplanar. Uh, no, 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 no they're not, are coplanar. And so we know right away that means that we cannot have all of R3, so it must be a plane. So if we write a more formal summary, we have our vectors v1, v2, and v3, not all parallel, and they are coplanar. That means that we know that the span of these three vectors is a plane through the origin. And of course, we know that we are in 3D space. So there's the geometric description, but we're asked to give an equation for the object. Well, the easiest equation to give would actually be to be the vector form equation, which comes directly from the span, from the linear combinations. Any x, y, z in this plane is have to be some linear combination. It doesn't matter which of the vectors we choose, although we could probably choose the two that we have shown to be non-parallel. Let's, let's do that. That's a little bit safer, although we know, of course, we can see that the other ones would work just as well for any S and T in R. Okay, but let's say that we wanted to go a little bit further and we wanted to give a general equation. So I'm drawing these vectors 
as I know that they are coplanar. And I can see that they're not all parallel, although we did not prove that. We did not check that. We're going to take the normal vector. We're going to take it as the reduced vector of v2 cross v3. So we're going to let the normal vector be our vector 2, 1, minus 1. And now to give the equation, we need a point in the plane. Well, we know that this plane goes through the origin, so we're going to use the origin as our known point. And if we go into the general equation, and we use our normal vector as coefficients, and we plug in the known point, we're going to see that d is equal to 0. And so 2x plus y minus z equals 0 is a general form equation for the geometric object that is the span. So let's just write ourselves a little summary sentence. The span of v1, v2, v3 is geometrically a plane through the origin represented by the equations above. In the next video, we're going to do a second method. This here, I didn't point it out when we started, but this says method one geometric. In the second video, we're going to do a method uh, which is more algebraically based to come down to the same kind of conclusion.